How you going? It's been a little while, but we're back in action. Now, before we get started, I originally learnt this from Chris Art. If you're having trouble understanding, just hop over to his video. I'll chuck his link in the description. But I'll try to be more in depth and keep it simple for you guys. You'll also need Photoshop. I'll also try to provide the link for that if you don't have it. But anyways, now let's get started, shall we? So I want you to hop over to Google Images or Pinterest and try to find a picture that's preferably high quality and something that's square shaped, like a inside of a room or a tunnel or a hallway or something. But this is perfect. This you want something like this. This is good. This is nice. This right here, that's good. So download that and drop it over into Photoshop. And from here, just go to filter, vanishing point. Lost it there for a second. This will open a new window for you and it will give you a tool to make a plane. So what we do from here, you just zoom in. So you get to the end there, click on your tool and you just want to outline the floor it's basically, your, it's like you're masking just outline the floor there zoom back out you can use these corners pull it all the way back to cover that whole floor now if you get this red box it just means it's not working you want it to be blue so that you can export to After Effects otherwise if you just keep getting this it just takes a while to play around with to be honest it's not the only thing you take a while playing with is it right there that's good now let's zoom in that's too far on this little box here you hold control and hold left click and that brings that up a wall for you. Now let's make the roof. It's perfect. And then the other wall. Just like that. You might need to adjust some of them. But that's that's good. So you got your wall, your floor, your roof. Now we go over to these four lines here on the top left and we export for After Effects. This will make a VPE file, so let's call that tunnel. Save that to desktop. Now we can close all this. That too. And we open After Effects. Get a file. Import. There it is. Import vanishing point. Now double click your file. And what this will do is create a composition and this will include a your textures in your through in a 3d camera and a null now this is good how it is now you might want to rotate it a bit with the camera but basically it's done you got your 3d hallway your 3d tunnel but I'm sure you guys would like to, I don't know, add text, add a character into it or something like that. So what I do is I firstly unparent all these from the knob and then parent the camera to the knob. Readjust the rotation so that it's facing upward and not upside down good and then we can add our character change that to 3d and sometimes it might be way far down there so what you do Go to the camera here, copy the position with Control C, 
press P for the position of the of your clip or character, and you control V. It'll paste the camera's values into the the clips. So if we zoom out with the camera, your clip will be there. So we can adjust it from here. So we're using the Z value to push it into the scene. And there you go. Do the exact same with text, anything like that. And if you want to make transitions, don't use the camera, just do paint the null. And from here, you can press P, make a keyframe, turn on motion blur, put motion blur on for everything. Can zoom in. Easy ease. Make a little transition here. And there you go. 3D scene done. Right, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Hope you found this effect interesting. I think it's pretty cool. Hope you guys use it. Thanks for watching.